Cab? You're not Barry? No. Late again, is he? Dispatch said you complained. <laughs> Once or twice. So, now I've got you, have I? Ah. Let's see how we go, shall we? Can I get you anything? Bitter. Thank you. That was quick. It's expensive, that place, isn't it? Me and my brother grew up in a place just like that. Brilliant for kids. Mum and Dad filled it with all sorts. You know what they made the most on? Plastic footballs. We got them in for next to nothing. Made a couple of quid on each. Hot summers. Couldn't get them in fast enough. So how about you? What did you do? I was a lecturer at university. Is it? Huh? A clever man. Rummy couldn't take him today. Hope you don't mind. Not at all. Well, say hello. Hello. Bit grumpy, isn't he? Nero. So we had a stag do in over the weekend. Almost got very messy. Nero, block your ears. Hey, music, man. Let, let, uh, let's put on some music. Nice, nice. Put music on, man. Take the back way. You know take the, way. the back way. Between you and me, Ace thinks doesn't have a back yeah. way. It's either the right way oh, or a scenic route. Sorry, lads, this bit's a bit bumpy. Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. 
Mate, slow down a bit. Shush. Why is he doing this? Why is he hurting us? Now, I don't get angry all that often. But if you're going to make life difficult for me, well, the Punjab is a very warm place. I don't want to be sick on the sheep. Whoa, yeah, man, whoa, whoa. man I, th I think we should slow down a bit, mate. I'll be sick in my cab, man. £50 fine if you have. No, man, just be over there. Do oh, over there. Chill, 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 Stop chill, the chill. car, mate. Stop the car. Seriously, he's uh, going to be sick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They're in the right state. They even gave me a tip. Dad, what is a strip club? That's Michael. <laughs> Hello? Jeremy? Hi, it's Michael. How are you? Michael, good to hear from you. I'm not bad, how are you? Oh, fine, fine. Proud of my life. Fit as a fiddle. Great, great. What time is it there? Must be early. Oh, yes, it is. Um, but you know, early bird and all that. Um, is, is, is Eleanor there by any chance? You just missed her, I'm afraid. She's gone to pick up Eddie from tennis. Ah, oh, of course. How is the little champ? He's good. He settled in really well. He's got a bunch of new friends. I know he'd love to see his grandfather. Soon, soon. Just got a few things to sort out first. You know how it is. Sure do, sure do. Listen, Michael, I've got to run, but I'll let Ellie know that you called. Thanks. I'll be in most of the day, if she gets a chance. I'll let her know. Take care. Yes. You too. Now, I've got one last job. Is there a Michael here? Is there a Michael here? Michael? Michael? No, no, no. No, carry on. He won't mind. He won't mind. You were missed on Friday. And this awful chap was on his telephone the entire journey. Where were you? I was up in Leicester. My brother's not very well. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a lovely name, Nehru. What does it mean? Light. We called our daughter Raymond. I was um, writing a book at the time on the Crusades, and my wife was pregnant a long, long time ago. And my editor said that the uh, 
the book wasn't quite right, and so I was doing redraft and redraft. Anyway, one evening, we were sitting up in bed. She was reading. I had my papers scattered all over the place, and um, she put her book down and turned to me and said, Michael, if it's a girl, what shall we call her? And apparently, without skipping a beat, I said, Raymond of Toulouse. <laughs> you laugh, but that's what we actually did call her for the first four weeks of her life. Raymond of Toulouse. Until we settled on her real name. And what did you go with in the end? Eleanor. You see her much? Not as much as I'd like. Her husband took a job in Brisbane, so she's there most of the time. Oh, when we stop, you need a hand with your shopping. Well, yes, that, that would be very kind. Thank you. Any made lasagna? Okay. Macaroni cheese? Eh. Not very healthy, is it, Michael? It's Italian. Yeah, about as Italian as I am. You need to get some proper food in, man. Look after yourself. Yeah, well, I'm not much of a cook. Well, I'm not asking you to open a restaurant. Just saying you can't survive on all this. Oh. How about. When I come round on Wednesday, I bring you some proper food from home. No, thanks so much. Don't bother. Oh, it's all right. Rummy cooks like crazy. You've got plenty going. You'd actually be doing me a favour. Please. All right. Wouldn't want to see it go to waste. Good man. She's been practising her hot pot. You're going to love it. That's very kind of you. All right. Both. Well, I'll see you Wednesday. It's all right. I know my way out. <laughs> 